Okay, look. Well, first of all, um, how well are you settling in here to life at St Johnson? Oh yeah, no, uh, really well and really quite easily, which uh, I didn't expect, obviously moving quite a long way from home, trying to find a place to stay, settling in with the lads, like, settling in with the lads was really easy, which meant I could worry about all the stuff on the pitch and obviously moving up, moving all my stuff up. That obviously helps a lot when the lads make it nice and easy and obviously the gaffer and everyone's so welcoming here. So, yeah, no, I've really enjoyed it these first couple of weeks. And you made your debut against Celtic. How was that? Quite a, a big game for you to make your debut. Yeah, obviously there was nerves there. There's always really nerves there, but just how you channel them. And obviously the gaffer spoke to me quite early in the week, which obviously doesn't usually happen when you build up to games. You usually find out later in the week that I might be involved. And uh, I just thought, just got to do what I can to help the team pick up some points and in all fairness you, it doesn't really you, you don't really go to Celtic and think you're going to pick up points let alone get a clean sheet and it takes a lot more than just the team to do that you need 20 30 players staff all involved all building a foundation and we went and did that and I think it's really good to the, for the club and how much confidence does that give you as you say it's hard coming in knowing no one and suddenly you find yourself playing against Celtic? Yeah, no, obviously probably one of the toughest fixtures in the league, so to have that as your first game is obviously daunting for anybody and then to come away with, especially being a defender, a clean sheet gives you so much confidence, gives the lads so much confidence as well, which obviously helps me. If the players around me are confident, it makes me more confident naturally. And um, you yourself, I mean, what do you hope to achieve from your, your time here at St John's? Well, obviously Saturday was probably the first of my achievements playing in front of big crowds and obviously getting them experiences under your belt when you go on loan that's what you look for um, but now I really want to push and get as high as we can up the table and not fear anybody really just like we did Saturday and pick up as many points as possible get into them uh, European places and yeah that's it really and of course you faced Dundee this weekend um, what's your thoughts heading into that game? Um, for most of the lads, we see it as obviously just another game. We've got to go out there and show them a level of respect, but we know how good we are and we know we proved that Saturday. Yeah, we, we understand there's a derby as well and that the fans will be right up for it and we will be from the, the first minute as well. Thank you. Thank you. And obviously, you know, the, the fans got to see you on Saturday, but kind of throughout the season, what, what can they expect from you when you're on the pitch? Um, <clears throat> I'm very honest. Uh, obviously, I like to say I'm a hard worker, but I think that's a given. I think obviously that should be the first thing for every player all over the pitch. Um, defensively, I pride myself quite highly. I, I get, I would obviously get quite frustrated if we can see the goal or if we weren't strong defensively. That's like the first thing a defender should be. And then obviously, then going forward, I like to be exciting and bring energy and get up and down. So hopefully, I can give all that. And obviously you've kind of spoken about how you're settling in, but obviously there's lots of new players you know, throughout the squad. And does that make it easy when, when a lot of other guys here are you know, just in the door as well? Yeah, obviously, I mean, quite a lot of the lads that have come in over the last couple of weeks have been young, like myself, which, which, which can be good. But obviously the, lads, the more senior lads are really welcoming as well. So it, it just, it kind of, the balance is there really and it's quite good and I'm, so they were probably in the same boat as me Saturday, quite ner like nervous but excited and their emotions going round. But I think they've shown just as much as myself how much they can fit into the team and how much as a squad, not just the start on 11, not just the start on 11 next week, all uh, 20, 25 players in the dressing room can come together and be a proper really good squad this season. Just a final one for myself, obviously you've not really had much time to, to kind of be eased into Scottish football, you know, straight away starting against Celtic away and now, you know, at home in, in the derby. Just, you know, how you know good is that for you to just start really just get straight on the ground and, and start running? Yeah, no, it's really good that everyone wants to play first team football and wherever that is is where I want to go. Like the opportunity was here this season and I've been more than made up to come and get straight into it. Obviously it's very physical. But it's also very mentally demanding against Celtic. There was a lot of focus going into the game. The players moving quite quickly. You've got to be switched on. So I think that will help me going back to Wigan. And obviously um, this season going on playing away. Like the likes of Rangers away would be similar. Hart away. I think all the games are very, very good, yeah. Good, thank you.
you've mentioned that the, the number of new players come in. And ha had you come across any of them um, before? Have you played against any of them? Um, well, Dara obviously plays for Burnley, and that's not too far away from Wigan. So I came across him maybe once mm. playing under 23s level a year or two ago, and then obviously Jay. Um, he was at Tramia just after, just after I left. But obviously, I live close to Tramia, so that's that's how I know. Obviously, I, I follow them mm -hmm. um, through social media, and I'll go and watch the game stuff. So that's how I know through Jay. And uh, obviously, being young lads, you, you kind of know of a lot of the young lads your age around the academies and stuff. So yeah, I did know of them quite well, to be fair. And you, you mentioned that the, the way you want to play as a defender, having a keeper like um, Dimi. Dimmy behind you must give you enormous confidence. Yeah, it gives you not only confidence, but it makes your job a lot easier knowing, not taking it for granted, but knowing that if you do concede chances, like it's very good, it like can happen quite easily against Celtic. You've got someone like Dimmy in goal that's gonna put in a performance like he did Saturday, and he, that's just not just Saturday. He does that. He does that week in, week out, day in, day out in training. So yeah, it's it's a blessing to have him behind. Just to be fair. Thank you very much.